Uh, ngoja nilisome swali vizuri kwamba wao wanasema kwamba je kuna scholarship uh, za watu wenye GPA za kawaida chini ya 3.7 na shauri ungetoa ushauri zaidi pia kwa ajili ya watu wenye matokeo ya kawaida au watu wasio na uwezo wa ILTs uh, ILTs uh, kwanza scholarship nyingi inabidi uwe na 3.5 sijajua 3.7 umeitoa wapi wanataka una upper second minimum 3.5 kwenda juu Lakini haina maana kwamba mtu wa 3.4 hatopata, mtu wa 3.3 hatopata. Ila mtu mwenye bilo tatu usipoteze muda wako. Una GPA 2.9, don't waste your time. At least uwe na 3.3 kwenda mbele kidogo inasaidia, lakini kwa 3.5 kwenda mbele ni nzuri zaidi. Hicho ni kitu cha kwanza. Kitu cha pili GPA sio kigezo pekee kinachomfanya mtu aweze kupata uh, scholarship Kuna kitu kila choitwa The whole person Perspective Au consideration Mimi mfano Na GP 3.4 Wewe na GP 3.6 Wewe umemaliza chuo Mwaka fumbili na kuminatano Mimi nisebe ni maliza mwaka fumbili na kuminasita Au na fumbili na kuminasaba Wewe umemaliza mwaka fumbili na kuminatano Hujai kufanya kazi semi otole pale Hujai kufolontio unabaku na msubilia laisi ya kupea jira Unabaku na mlaumu Unacha kufanya kazi Unashindu na kuna kufolontia Mimi bada kumaliza shule Na jipe yangu sio kubwa kama ya kwako Nimeanzisha fuka kama YouTube Kila siku unenda kufolontia Au kila mwe na, na volontia kama ni mwalimu na volontia kufundisha Unaona Kwa mimi tali ni naweke experience ya kutosha Kulikoni wewe Wewe umeka umeka nyumbani Kwa mimi nita chukulio kuliko ni wewe. Kwa wanangalia vitu vingi. Umevolontia wapi. Umefanya kazi gani. What is your contribution katika jamii. Na is your contribution on zifanya katika jamii. Uh, je ukirudi nchini kwa kutuja kufanya nini. Kwa hivyo ni vitu vyote mbavyo ni vya msingo na viangalia. Kwenye CV yako umeantikaji. Statement of purpose umeantikaji. Kwa nini tukupewe scholarship na siyo mtu mwingine. Na kwa nini tukupewe scholarship siyo kwa sabu wewe ni masikini. Why do you deserve to be given scholarship? Sio kwa sababu sio kwa sababu mimi ni masikini wanipe scholarship. Hapana. Inabidi uelezee kwamba wewe una sifa gani? Na kwa nini ukipata hiyo scholarship utakuja contribute nini katika ile nchi au katika ile department utakayokwenda? Na ukimaliza lazima urudi nchini kwako. Na kurudi nchini kwako utakuja kufanya nini? Ambacho kitu ni positive. Kwa wanaangalia hizo factors zote. Then na kitu kingine kimoja hapo ni kitu kingine ni mtindo wa Kiingereza. 99% ya scholarships zinatenji mtuno wa kingeleza. Zipo scholarship chache, azitenji mtuno wa kingeleza. Ila usisubilia bati nasibu ya kusuma kapa, mwenye usubilia scholarship mba itenji mtuno wa kingeleza. Kama unatafuta scholarship kwa nguvu zako zote, lazima ufanyo chini juu, ufanyo le mtiani. Unapo taka kunda peponi, lazima ukubali kufa. Usitia kunda peponi, alafu taki kufa. Utaendaje. Wani bikila malio palizo kunda peponi. Haki pecho kitu, wesa bikila malia. Asante sana sister. Good job baby brother. Asante sana. Bado uko macho mpaka sasa hivi sasa usiku sasa hivi. Kwa hicho ndio kitu ambacho ndani kizungumzie. Kwa wanaangalia hivyo vitu vyote. Kwa kama unataka scholarship. Hakikisha unafanya mtindo wa Kiingereza. Kama unataka kupata scholarship, hakikisha unaandika CV in a very competitive way. Ngoja nikupe nikuonyeshe mfano. Watanzania kwa mbio andike CV, wanandika hivi. Ngoja kupatu mfano, ni mambo ya ajabu haya. Na ya makosa, ya nawakosti watu wengi sana. Ngoja kupatu mfano. Uyu mtu, huyu mtu wana PhD. Kama unaweza kuyona iyo, iyo CV yake. Huyu mtu wana PhD, hameaza CV yake. Dr. James C.U. nini ni mkenya huyo. A personal details. Date of birth, ID number, sex, marital status, religion, address, telephone, email, uh, present post. So, mimi, why do I need to care umezalua mwaka gani? Why do I need to care wewe religion yako nini? Mimi sitafuti hapa, sitafuti, sitafuti shehe hapa. Sitafuti mtu ambana kujia kujia hapa, kujia kuwa padi. Why should I care wewe dini gani? Hii scholarship za natolewa zitoli kwa niyaba ya dini gani? Hawaangalii wewe kwa single kwa married 
kama uko single so what kwamba unatafuta mchumba hapa kama uko married wewe uko niko married with the three kids kwamba unataka kuonea huruma hakuonea huruma watu wengi wajui nini maana discrimination kila mtu ni mbaguzi mimi ni muha mimi ni mweusi assume leo hii mimi ni manager same flani kuna wa Africans wametokea wengi kuna Africans kumi katika Africans kumi kuna Mwafrika mmoja afu ni mtanzania na possible labda ni muha na yeye alafu kuna wazungu kuna warabu kuna watu kutoka mataifa mengine afu watu na vigezo sawa obviously nitampendelea yule muha mwenzangu Mwafrika mtanzania mwenzangu unaona wewe sasa unavyoweza kuweka hizi unavyoweza kuandika unavyoandika CV zako unaweza kuweka unaweza kuweka hizo sifa zako kwamba mimi 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 religion ni ni, ni, ni born again christian anayekuja unaomba kazi kwenye TBL shirika la labia sasa so, unakuja kutubiliwa kwa tusiuze pombe wanakupiga chini unaona mpaka hapo kwa utakuja kuwa discriminated against don't put too much personal details ambazo act against you wewe unaandika umekuwa umekuwa born maybe una miaka tuseme una miaka 25 alafu unaomba position kama manager sasa unajua u manager 25 years old no au mfano sasa uja mama amesema na miaka amezaliwa mwaka 1970 alafu unaomba kazi sehemu uja mbona ni mzee sana hata hata computer utakuwa hajui huyu kwa mtu anaweza kujidiscriminate kwenye so many angles haya unakuja kwenye e, e, mambo ya shule unaweza kuandika huyu mtu ameandika phd amesoma Uh, Egerton University uh, Masters amesoma yo Egerton uh, Bachelor of Education Bachelor amefanya Mo University akaja kuandika ile ile ile, ile high school akaja kuandika kipindi cha baada kwa Kenya alikuwa bado ana ana ulevo kulikuwa ana ulevo na ilevo na primary school huyo mtu ana PhD alafu anaandika primary school who cares about his stupid primary school who cares umeenda ulevo wapi ilevo wapi you have PhD unakuja kuandika mambo ya shule msingi tena wewe tayari una bachelor degree. Huruhusiwi kuandika elimu yako below below. Yaani inabidi uwe ni post high school. Mtu anaandika elimu ya high school au mtu anaandika elimu ya level na primary ni mtu ambaye hajafika katika hizo level. Ila una degree elimu yako lazima above high school. Na kama ni elimu zingine unaweza kuzoka inabidi uweke certification. Uweke certificate ambazo ni professional certificate fulani. Kwa hivyo ni vitu vya kuviangalia. Kwa usio kaangalia kwa kwa CV, kwa bwana mimi huruma, mtu anakuja hobbies kwenye CV, swimming. Unafanya unaomba kazi, unaomba scholarship ya kuja kusoma PhD in political science. How does PhD in political science is relating to swimming? Unaomba kazi au unaomba kuomba kusoma masters, unaandika hobbies uh, watching TV. Watching TV ni uvivu usiyo kadanganyika Bill Gates hobby yake sio kuangalia TV Unaona Kama hobby yako ni swimming basi omba kazi ya kwenda kufanya kuwa pool boy mtu kusafisha pool au kuwa supervisor wa pool Hicho ndio ukifanye Kwa kuna vitu vingi watu wanakosa kwa sababu hawajui jinsi kuandika CV Mtu ana miaka 25, amemaliza bachelor degree, CV yake ukimuonea unapaka unamuonea huruma huyu mtu. Anaandika ni uh, uh, Mary marital status tribe. Are we looking for the chief kingdom? Hatafuti uh, uh, hapa nani nani huyu mtu wa mkwao hapa tena. Hawataji hivyo vitu. Wewe personal details zinatakiwa tu ni jina lako, email yako, namba yako ya simu, address yako. Full stop. Hakuna mambo siyo mimi ni black, white, yellow, siyo nini, siyo tribe gani, they don't care. Siyo nimezaliwa wapi, they don't care. Mimi unaweza niombe kazi kwa diplomat, alafu unaweza kuandika kwamba nimezaliwa Kigoma, Tanzania, mimi ni Muha, mimi siyo nini. Mimi unaweza kuja uja ma, huyu ni wakuja, uja maana accent, anaweza kudiscriminate ama mambo yote before aje kuona. So don't put yourself in a situation mtu anaweza kudiscriminate against you. Watu wanakupa scholarship, watu wanakupa kazi kwa sababu ya uwezo wako na uwezo wako unaoneshwa kwenye education na so education ya primary. 
kama una masters ni bachelor and masters and other certification certificate in nani legal studies certificate in, in, in conflict management and resolution certificate in mediation whatever certificate au uh, una, 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 una Cisco certificate au uh, una una you una, una, una nani una madude ma CPA those are the things you need to put on your ile pale Kwa kuna vitu vingi vinafanya mtu apate scholarship na mtu akose. Kwa it's not just a CV. Na it's not just your GPA. GPA is one thing. Yes. Unaweza kuwa na first class. Lakini una work experience. Una first class. Lakini uli, uli plagiarize. First class is, doesn't show smartness. Kwa mfano. Nungaja kutu mfano. Chukua mtu ambaye mwenye masters kama mimi ambaye huyo mtu tuseme alipata first class kwenye bachelor akapata first class kwenye masters na mimi nilipata upper second kwenye tuseme kwenye bachelor nikapata upper second kwenye masters lakini huyo mtu tangu alipomaliza shule labda miaka mitano iliyopita au miaka kumi iliyopita huyo mtu chukua anafanya anafanya kazi yake tu ile kama alitakuwa manager basi kazi yake ni ile ile mimi kwa chile kazi niliyoifanya nimeandika vitabu kumi na moja mimi kwa chile chama na run youtube mimi kila siku au kila nikisafiri naenda kuongea na wanafunzi shule mbalimbali unaona mimi huyu hapa ninafanya vitu vingine vya community activities kwa hivi vitu tunavyofanya kwenye community activities ninaonyesha kwamba mimi huyu mtu i'm very much productive to the community than the person with the first class na ndio wanavyoenda kuangalia wanavyotafuta kazi wanavyotafuta scholarship wanaangalia hivyo vitu what are you going to bring to the table? What are you going to help to the community? Mtu anajisifu mimi ndio Tanzania 1. So what? Kama unapata A zote 7. Hizo A zako 7 au A 10 zinamsaidia nini mtu wa mtu wa Mwanza kule kijijini kule au mtu wa Kiela? Zinamsaidia nini? Hazimsaidii chochote kile pale. Wewe unapata Tanzania 1 una A zote. Nenda kule Kibondo kawaambie bwana someni sana watu waweze kupata A zile pale wapate wenyewe A kuna watu shule walioje kupata A hawajui kuna mtu anapata division 1 mashani kwao alafu una Tanzania wana unachekelea Tanzania 1 Tanzania 1 ya kukalili toa upuuzi kabisa we want people to be productive to the community na sio kuwa na vikicheti kwa ndio maana kwamba inabidi uandae vitu vingi mimi nimesha kufanya interviews mpaka mpaka najishangaze wenyewe Kwa sababu mtu kiniangalia kwenye profile yangu, nenda kwenye Google search, andika jina langu LNS Bonifas Makulilo. Watu ngele ujome ni mzee. Miso mzee, ila biti na lulipigia mtandaoni. Nimefanya mambo mengi sana ya community, kwa pa mtu na wakala ujia baba ni mzee. Sio mzee. Echi kipala, siyo mvizi na kuja sababu tu ni, ni mambo ya ukotu, izi mambo tunalithi mambo ambayo mengine, suwe ya maana. Suna jiwa tena jamani. Kwa kuna vitu vya namnele pale, ambayo ya bitu viangalie. You need to have so much things to do outside of your normal job. Chukulia mfano nyelele. Nyelele alikuwa raisi wa nchi. Hivu na yuwa umuhimu ubizi wa raisi kama vile magufuri. Kuwa raisi tuile ni hede kimoja matata. Sangalia nyelele alikuwa raisi wa nchi. Kwa chie kuwa raisi wa nchi, alitafsiri biblia ile pale biblia. Kutoka kwenye kingereza, akaipeleka kwenye kizanaki. Alitafsiri vitabu vya Shakespeare. Kwa kwenye kiswahili. Aliandika vitabu, hobi zake. What are you doing to serve your community beyond your normal duty? Wewe unafanya kazi kama ni mwalimu. Wewe kazi kama benka ili ulipo tu mshahara. Uwezo sawa mimi nasaidia jamii bwana, unasaidia jamii gani? Zaidi kupokea mshahara wako. Mimi naweza kujisifu na nasaidia jamii. Nimeandika vitabu 11, fanya kama kitabu page 498, afu nakitoa for free. Yes, nasaidia jamii. What are you doing to help your community? Unapenda wewe ufike sehemu fulani, afu wacheke wenzako umwagie matope na vitara yako. Au ndako fika tika level flani na wenye uwa uplift wenza kwa weze kuzidi. That is how it's supposed to be. Kwa hiyo, hiyo ndio masona kuna kujibu masona kuhusu scholarship.